Good day, Thrivers. I hope you're having a great day so far. I hope you're setting your goals high and you're going to try to have a perfect day today so that we can go the distance together this year. Well, Wednesdays, we're going to start taking questions uh, that come right out of my private uh, email box uh, through Facebook. You know, there's so many great questions coming through. I think it's, it's really good to share some of those questions with our uh, online audience and our thrivers that are out there because you're probably having some of the same mental and physical challenges that the people are that are sending the questions in to me. And what I find is uh, a lot of times that diet devil is giving us different excuses uh, to utilize so we, we begin to get in a mindset that we can't change. And we're gonna, we've got to change. We don't have a choice. You know, how much emotional strain have you been through over the past five, six, seven years just d trying to decide to change? You know, you kind of start and stop and start and stop. I love this quote that the pain of daily discipline weighs ounces, but the pain of regret weighs a ton. How many of us out there living with some regret because we haven't got started yet improving our health and our life and we know that we're going to many of us I've been I've been since I was, I was 20 years old been saying next year is going to be the year and at some point we have to draw our line in the sand and say you know I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired this is the year I'm going to find a plan doesn't matter the plan as long as that plan is a sound nutritional plan you know a fool with a plan is better than a wise man without a plan. We need to find a plan and stick to a plan. Of course, I love Thrive Weight Loss because Thrive is very practical and sustainable and it takes no real food away from me. I can have any food that I want to have on the Thrive Weight Loss program. So are you living with the pain of daily discipline and approaching your goal or are you living with the pain of regret? Make a choice today. Well, the first question comes from uh, someone who uh, really just reiterates other people's question. I, I get the same question several times a week. It says, Travis, how do I lose weight? Travis, how do I become healthy, eat healthy, when the food is so expensive? It costs so much more to eat healthy than it does to eat poorly. Well, I'm going to let Jack Jessup come and weigh in on that one. You know, Wednesday's going to start being... You can't handle the truth Wednesday, and I don't have the heart to answer that question, so I'm going to invite our uh, Thrive Island expert up, Jack Jessup, and let him answer that for you, and I hope he doesn't run you off. I'm Jack Jessup, and you can't handle the truth. Travis Martin is a loser. A loser. That's why he was over 300 pounds. That's why he got in that condition. I get questioned all the time, what makes me the expert on nutrition and fitness and that kind of thing, because I've never had any weight to lose. Well, that's because I have some discipline, and I monitor myself on a daily basis so I don't get in that condition. Life is too short to get in that condition. Travis hired me to do those Thrive Islands because there were some of you that was wanting abuse. You wouldn't to be told the truth. Thank goodness for you, you Thrive Island graduates. You're just a cut above the rest of these people watching. This is one of the silliest questions I believe I've ever received from Travis, and I don't like the way he answers it. He's just so dancing around the truth, and this is, you can't handle the truth. You know, it costs more to eat healthy. No, it don't. The cynic knows the price of everything but the value of nothing. Travis is a loser. A cynic knows the price of everything but the value of nothing. The value of taking care of yourself can't even be weighed and measured and a price tag put on it. You know, you're, you're, you're sitting there telling us that while well, it costs twice as much to eat a healthy bowl of cereal as it does to eat a bowl of cereal that is mass marketed and full of sugar. Well, that, that cereal that's mass marketed that we consume, it causes the fat bus to come. That's insulin, y'all. causes the fat bus to come. And when the fat bus comes, the fat bus is going to stop your fat burning. 
You're going to stop. Efficient fat burning stops. Johnny on the spot. Why would you ever consume such a thing when you're trying to lose weight? You should be kicking your own booty right now for letting your booty get in this condition. My goodness. And then your appetite goes up. So you don't eat just a bowl of those mass-marketed high, high-end sugar cereals with all the fillers in them. While you eat one bowl, you're already full, but you eat more because the fat bus is on the scene. And when the fat bus comes on the scene, that appetite goes through the roof. So you eat half the box instead of one bowl. The cynic knows the price of everything but the value of nothing. Wise up. It's time. Well, the program to educate myself on health and nutrition, it costs too much. No, it doesn't. It doesn't cost too much. It costs too much not to do it. It's $200. We're not giving you a fish to eat for a day. We're giving you a, we're teaching you how to fish so you can eat for a lifetime on your own. You can go into any restaurant and know what proper food combining is and how to put those combinations together. You'll know what proper portions are. There's nothing you can't have on this program. Make a decision. Some of you just hadn't made a decision. You can't handle the truth when you make a decision while everything that gets in your way, including the diet devil, is just a minor inconvenience. I know I didn't make many fans today, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm looking for people that have some daily self-discipline. They're ready to get their life back. Why that Travis Martin? He's a loser! He respects everyone. Some people just haven't earned respect yet. So wise up. You say, Jack, you're insane. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Insanity's more interesting than sanity. <laughs> Goodness. Wise up. Start making the right choices and the right decisions. Well, who are you doing this for? You doing it for your family? You doing it for yourself? Well, you should be. You should do this for the people around you as well. Be healthy. Be well. When one person is sick, while well, it affects everyone, everyone, we're all in this together. We're not individuals. We're a part of a team. We're a part of a community. Wise up. The cynic knows the price of everything but the value of nothing. You can't handle the truth. Hope I didn't tick them off, Travis. Gee, thanks, Jack. You're just a jerk, you know that? All that yelling is uncalled for. We have, we've got reasonable people here. Guys, I'm sorry for that. Jack is, uh, he's a little over the top, a little crazy. Uh, there's only a select group of people that need that kind of tough love, and uh, most of our thrivers are not that way. It, you know, there's, there's crazy people like those people that got involved with the Thrive Island that, that need a kick in the seat, but I apologize for that. I mean, I, I, I may not bring him back out. That's just crazy. Jack, that's crazy, man. I'm sorry, but you, what Jack is trying to say is, you know, real real simply put, an oh yeah bar versus a, a Snickers bar, okay? A Snickers bar, we can have on a blow it day, but when we consume that Snickers bar, then we know what's gonna happen. The fat bus is gonna come on the scene. And with the oh yeah bar, well, we can stay in efficient fat burning by consuming that bar. So. You know, it's when you start just uh, basing your your response, uh, your actions on which bar tastes the best, well, you still might choose the Snickers bar, even though the Oh Yeah bar tastes great. Uh, but you have to remember there are invisible side items that come with each bar. The invisible side item coming with the Snickers bar is the 300-pound Travis. The invisible side item that's coming with uh, that oh yeah bar is the, the Travis that's healthy, fit, and well, and has self-confidence and self-esteem. So, you know, everything's about choices. Once again, we apologize for Jack today, and we'll see you next time on You Can't Handle the Truth. Jack, that was just crazy, man. That was ridiculous. I've, I've worked for years to build this. What are you doing to me?